what happened. Um. The skies opened up and it starts torrential downpouring. Just zoom. My name is Jillian. I am 27 years old. I am training for a marathon and I love a good harmonica solo. That just like hits me into my core. Ran a little bit in college, but not enough to like, just, like I didn't run in high school. I didn't do, I, like I was never a track and field kid or a cross country kid. When I started working full time and I work a nine to five desk job, I realized I'm gonna be sitting at a desk for the rest of my life. I should probably find a way that I enjoy moving my body. I am currently training for our local marathon. I'm in Cincinnati. If I am out of shape, I will crawl across the finish line. It is that much fun. This is the first race in a while where I'm actually starting from square one and building back up. I talked Andy, my husband, into running his first half marathon. And it's been really fun running with Andy because we get to have like little dates on, sun on Sunday morning. You're doing great, baby. Everything burns. <laughs> to like run together, which is cute. When he finally said like, yes, I'm gonna do it. I was like, all right, great. I'll make your training plan. We'll like, I'll run to your long runs with you. <laughs> it's tactfully done. Thank you. Yes, well done. Long run? How long are we doing? Six miles. Six miles. It's a down week. It's a down week. That means that's a little amount. <laughs> Good news is the first two and a half miles of this one are all uphill. So it is the absolute butt crack of dawn, meaning 5.15. I have a 20 plus miler today. The worst thing is not wanting to go out the door and knowing the moment I get out the door and finish this run, I will feel loads better. Ate breakfast, drank coffee, even pooped before this run. My training group is on a different training schedule than I am. So they're doing like 18 today. I'm doing an add-on before the group run. So it is six in the morning. I am running about three miles before running 18 with my pals. Training for your first marathon, my biggest advice is have fun, which I know is so cliche, but it's super true. Like, it's not that serious. You can do way more than you think you can. I have so much fun running with friends and especially friends who are just getting into running. Every run is a celebration. And it's fun to have people to talk to. It makes it a social activity instead of just like a pure workout. I think the most, the most memorable part of this training season has been getting to train Andy alongside me. I haven't had my longest run in forever and getting to celebrate alongside someone who's doing it for the first time is so fun. We did it! We did it! Yeah. Cool exit transition. <gasps> okay, so this is, we're doing Andy's first double digit run today, ever. I'm bringing extra treats to celebrate. And by treats, I mean beer. I am doing a recovery run today. I ran 21 miles yesterday, and that sounds insane, but I always feel better after recovery runs, and then tomorrow will be a rest day. Well done. Look at you running for recovery. Oh, it's so, oh, oh, almost dropped the GoPro. It is so nice. Mile five out of 10. I felt better than I did at 2.5. Nine, nine, eight. We are almost, almost at 10 nine. miles. The longest run I've ever done. Good old count. We did it. Woo! 10, 10 30. Uh, all right, uh, why are we running? Cheers. Congratulations on completing your first double digit run ever. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, wow, that's amazing after a run. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Jillian, what are we doing? So, just as important as training is also recovery. Spa days are very important. We're soaking our feet in some tub and Epsom salts. Would you have trained for a half marathon earlier if you knew that this was part of it? Great question. I like to think yes. <laughs> Every time I've trained for a marathon or any race, I hit a point in the training where you just get like burnout level. One of the really big cures for that, in my opinion, is going someplace new. Big news, Ooh. it is our one year anniversary today. So we drove all the way up to Chicago to celebrate. It's just kind of like the best way to explore and discover. And now that the weather's broken, I really like to kayak. 
And that's also really fun to do after a run because I can tucker out my legs and then let them sit and do nothing while my arms do all the work. I was gonna talk about eating a lot of pasta and pizza. It sounds really easy to like, oh yeah, cool. Like you just get to eat more calories, but it's like, no, you have to eat more carbs. Like it's easy to add cheese to everything and just make everything higher calorie. It's hard to just be like, no, you just have to eat more pasta. Like you just have to contain your, like contain more pasta within your body. So the bad news is that the forecast is not looking great tomorrow. It's supposed to, there's like, they're talking about thunderstorms and like spotted showers like the whole morning. Um, so it is the morning of the race, gang. Oh boy. Fellas, the forecast is not looking good. This is what the radar calls for today. What's the ideal? It was 26.2 miles of torrential downpour, and it was a blast. <laughs> And the skies opened up and every time it would pour, everyone around us would cheer. Don't worry, only 500 more meters of the swimming portion. And I was worried that the thunderstorms would scare people away. And it scared some of them away. There were still, there were definitely lower numbers. However, the people that were there were also standing in the pouring rain. And it was so cool to run by and see people cheering in ponchos and just also completely dripping wet. Go, go! The way that the flying pig course works, you run together the half marathoners and the marathoners for the first eight miles and then you split. And it's gonna be even more exciting getting to do that with my spouse for the first time. All of these people are in the same, like we're all doing the thing for whatever different reasons we all have. We are on the same course as elites. I don't know if there's any other sport where if you're running a six hour marathon, you are doing the same exact thing as someone who is running a two and a half hour marathon. Being surrounded by other people who are also doing this incredible thing is so inspiring, even though you're right in the middle of them, but you're like, wow, look at all of these cool people who are doing the dang thing. And then you realize, wait, I'm also doing the dang thing at the same time. It's really fun to remember like, this is a big deal. I think I fell in love with her a little bit more again. I love just witnessing her. She's just so communally oriented and she just like feels what everyone around her is feeling and celebrates it. I love this race so much. <laughs>